Okay, so this is a similar one than before. Sorry, I didn't write down the um, the instructions. Simplify. Well, let's just simplify. Simplify, and it usually means it will come down to really one or two uh, trig ratios that that it simplifies to. Okay, and again, we're going to do positive acute and simple as our first step. To do that, we need our cast diagram and I'm sure by now you are well versed in this thing okay so that's 90 180 and I shouldn't be wasting your time doing it I should have it prepared shouldn't I okay and 360 degrees okay uh, minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus and then negative angles comes 90 negative 90 negative 180 negative 270 negative 360 okay but this can also be zero so all we need to do is express each of the ratios whether it should be a positive tan of m or negative tan of m um, and, and that's what we're going to do so that's our very first step in the first step change everything into positive acute and simple angles okay so 180 plus there's 180 plus there we go. It's this quadrant, tan is positive there, so there's a positive coming out. Okay, so there's a positive being thrown out of there, and it's multiplying a positive one in front there, so it just stays positive tan of m. Okay, how about the denominator here? Negative 360 plus m. So negative 360 is, there's negative 360 plus, okay, is, is in the first quadrant okay everything is positive there so positive is coming out multiplying the positive one there and just m keeps it as positive sine of m okay here we've just got sine squared of m no no troubles on that side sine squared of m however in the denominator here we've got negative 360 plus m again the first quadrant so this is just positive okay positive coming out so actually this was a very fortunate sum there was no no sign changes okay if let's say let's say this was a negative okay it did come out as a negative then that that sign would change there but you can for the time being have kept the negative in the denominator unfortunately this illustration doesn't show that but um that's what you could have done anyway now we need to simplify okay so i'm i'm going to do the next step pass cas change everything into cos and sine. So for example, tan, the tan of m becomes cos of m divided, sorry, not cos of m, uh, sine of m over cos of m divided by sine of m minus. Okay, on this side, let's just hold on f for a minute before we change this maybe into 1 minus cos squared maybe it's not necessary you'll notice that when I do do that is if in the denominator was 1 plus cos of m because then then that's kind of like the same format in a sense than than this and if I factorize this into two brackets now one thing that you should realize is that this really comes with experience the more of these I do the more I just sense that this is the right thing to do not because it's some magical gift but I've done so many that that you kind of see what's going to happen okay so what I have here is two fractions a fraction divided by a fraction so I tip in times I've got sine m over cos m that is multiplied with 1 over sine m okay so what you actually notice here is that numerators in the numerator will cancel with numerators in the denominator that's what's happening here so you can maybe shorten a step by just doing that okay so that I have left 1 over cos okay so I've got 1 over cos but this is also sine over cos so I've got two same denominators so I've got 1 minus sine squared m that's not theta that's m okay 1 minus sine squared theta that's cos squared theta or cos squared m over cos m and this just means I've got two factors of causes in the numerator I've got one in the denominator so one of the numerators cancel with one of the denominators so that I only have left cos of m Again, beautiful question.